Welcome back. Now, Defense Minister Tandi Mudis has opened the door for recognized military veterans to table their grievances. This comes after being held hostage by disgruntled military veterans together with uh, the minister in the presidency, Mundli Kungubele, and the deputy minister of defense, Tabang Makwetla. The veterans were demanding that the deputy president, David Mabuza, should meet with them. Well, let's get some reaction this afternoon. Let's talk to DA's Corbus Mare to hear his take on this situation. Mr. Mare, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you very much uh, for your time. You are the DA's Shadow Minister of Defense. I've just seen uh, the press statement you've made uh, after these events. You, you, you are really uh, uh, um, unhappy with how the Minister of Defense, the Deputy Minister of Defense, and the Minister in the Presidency have handled this, especially today. You are calling it what we saw earlier, an appeasement press conference. Why? Well, I think one must go back to, you know, where it all started. Remember, the, the Military Veterans Act is, is providing um, the guidelines and the criteria for military veterans from both the previous statutory and the previous non-statutory forces. So the moment that the process was taken away from Parliament in the budgetary process into a parallel process where the President and especially the Deputy President was 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 meeting with certain groups and only certain groups um, and not everybody um, then it starts to create a perception and clearly this group that we have seen over the last couple of days uh, they somehow a, an expectation was created with with them about certain benefits i can tell you certain benefits that clearly is not in in the current budget and in terms of the priorities that we are dealing with in defense as well as the economic uh, growth opportunities, uh, um, that kind of money will not be there in the in the foreseeable future. Now, if you if you go and analyze what who are this is this group, and where do they come from, then when asked the question, so why are they not with all the other military veterans? And clearly, uh, my information is this is a faction within the ANC of the military veterans. But, but we were that told group that but, but, to the RET. Yeah, but we were told it involves also uh, uh, veterans from other formations like APLA and them. But your information says they are only yeah. from the ANC's armed wing? Well, they are from the non-statutory forces. That is what we have said, from the non-statutory forces. And we know that MK is the biggest portion of the non-statutory forces. And we know about the RET faction and, and the whole fight within the ANC of recognition of military veterans and which military veterans. So clearly we know that this is factional fighting and it's an appeasement to this specific uh, group. Now, Hello, I, do, I don't, I don't um, uh, disregard their rights. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm listening. Yeah, sorry, your, 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 your connectivity yeah. disappeared for a short while. Yeah, you were saying you don't disregard oh, okay. what? No, I, I don't disregard the rights of, of, of military veterans, but because the, the act is prescribing um, the criteria and who qualifies for what benefits, and that must be granted and given to all military veterans, irrespective from the, from the statutory or non-statutory forces. Now, obviously, the way that they have now acted is clearly an appeasement of a certain group within the ANC, and clearly there was threats and there was expect expectations created. This is, this is uh, in my opinion, unaffordable um, expectations that was created and, and unreasonable expectations. So, so and, uh, Mr. Mare, and, yeah. and this is actually sidelining Parliament and the parliamentary process. Do you have evidence that uh, this, as you say in your statement, uh, is a result of uh, the ANC having made, and I'm reading it here, unsustainable concessions to non-statutory military veterans aligned to the ANC. They created expectations beyond affordability and reason, which were not clearly not offered to all military veterans. Do you have evidence of this, of this allegation here? Mr. Murray? Well, it, it, is, it is by virtue of what the military veterans... Uh, can, you, can you hear me? Yes, It's by yes. virtue of their own statements. 
is by virtue of their own statements where they are claiming money that they said was promised to them. Now, if it is 2 million or 2.2 million rand per, per individual, I mean, you can make the quick calculation. You will okay. see it is totally unaffordable. Uh, okay. and, and that's part of the expectations I, and I, also houses. Because, I, because there are now people saying they were promised houses and they are not getting the houses. Okay, I get your point. I get your point. Okay, the Minister of Defence and the Minister of the Presidency clearly speaking earlier and also speaking to uh, our, our reporters the, uh, uh, earlier made it clear that the charges against the 56 individuals who have been arrested will not be dropped. So legal action will Will, will proceed. But you are also making a call at the end of your statement that it is incumbent upon the state to correct this. What do you expect the state to do now? There is this presidential task force that's looking into the matter. What more, what else should be done? Well, I think, you know, the first of all, it's good that the minister has said that the process will, will take its course because some of the responses and the remarks was that it is not really that serious. It is clearly that serious if the, if, if the police was called in and easily happened. So it is serious and it is, uh, um, you, know, um, uh, you know, against the law in terms of what they've done. So, so government must act consistently against anybody who's transgressing the laws, irrespective of who they are. There are no holy cows, and that is what we need. That must be done, and all military veterans must be treated equally. Thank you very much for your time. That's DA's Shadow Defence Minister, Corbus Murray, responding, of course, to what we saw here earlier today.